Hey guys, on today's tutorial, we're going to be updating your Mac to the latest OS. So right here is the latest one. Okay, now you guys don't need to go to this website. This is from Apple, so I'll show you what website I'm at. But this is the latest one, and you don't need to download it from here. Okay, the way that you guys have to update your Mac is to go right here at the Apple logo. So you guys are going to see that on the top left hand side, that Apple logo. Just click on it, and your third option is usually Apple Store. That's not where we go anymore. We actually go to the second option where it says System Preferences. Under System Preferences, we're going to see this. It's going to be checking for updates until it finds the update for this guy. So let me just put this up here. It shouldn't take that long to look for that update. If you guys are uploading, downloading movies or stuff like that, then yeah, this will take longer even to download itself. So if you click on more information, you guys can see what this requires. So it is 2.45 gigs. That means for some of you, this might take 15 minutes. For others, two gigs, it's almost three gigs. So it might take even 10 minutes. The restart and everything installation process of this will not take you guys more than five minutes, okay? And for those of you with high speed internet, the whole process will not take you more than five. All right, so for most of you, you're looking at between two to 10 minutes, okay? It's really hard to say how long exactly, but make a backup of your computer anyways, because with any update, things can happen, okay? So if you guys want to find out more information about the actual update, which we just click on update now, and it will restart our computer, so save your stuff. You guys can check it out on this website. You guys can click on more information for it, okay? So I'm gonna click there so you guys can see what's there exactly. And you guys can see a lot of info about this update, all right? So we won't go through all of this because this tutorial is just teaching you how to update your Mac now with the new OS. Now, again, like I said, you guys would need to go to System Preferences. For those of you who are in Mac OS Sierra or High Sierra, for example, your updates are still under App Store, so go into your App Store and update from there, okay? And you guys won't update straight to this version. You guys will most likely just download the basic OS, and then we'll have to do this update, all right? So for the rest of us, let's just go into our second option. And right here, just click on Update Now. It's going to download the update, and then it's going to restart, okay? However... Make that backup first. So I'm not even gonna do this right now, just because I wanna show you what I mean by backup. Right here, so if we go, system preferences is fine. So under system preferences, if you guys see this time machine here, I highly recommend using time machine. Time machine backs up your entire Mac. Now to use time machine, you guys should have an external hard drive. So if you guys care about your files, buy an external hard drive, set up time machine there. I have a separate video showing you guys how to do that right here in the latest Mac OS, or even if you guys are in high Sierra, Sierra, do it from there, okay? So I always recommend using time machine because it backs up your OS plus your apps and all your folders. That includes pictures, documents, everything that you guys have on your Mac, all right? And that's why time machine is the best. So once you guys have that set up, you guys can just go right here, I have this icon, I can just click on backup now, and it's gonna start making my backup. Now I don't have my external hard drive connected, that's why it's telling me that it's unavailable at the moment, but that's what you guys should do before heading out and making this update. So once again, I'm just gonna go back to my system preferences and software update. So I'm gonna click right there, and you guys can just click update now. What you guys will see is your Mac restarting, so you will see an Apple logo and a loading bar. You actually will only see that one time and then you're back into your OS again. That's it. And like I said, this will take you from five to 10 minutes for most of you. And some others might take a little bit longer. If you guys are there waiting for two hours, something might have gone wrong or your internet speed's just not there just yet. Anyways, that's it for this video tutorial. If you guys have any comments, questions, you can write them down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.